And here we are, game number three. This match decides everything. Bomber going for a risky strategy last game, and the rush was able to defeat it. Here he is at the right side of the map. It is Startail's Bomber. And over here on the left side of the map, managing to pull off a nice rush against Bomber in the first, I'm sorry, in the second game, after basically getting out macroed and outplayed in the first game, it is TSL's heart. And I'm really curious to see what strategies we see out of these guys in this game. Um, you know, obviously the rush went really well for Heart last game. Probably not going to see him do the exact same build again. But, you know, we saw in the first game that Bomber, when it just came to a sheer macro match, uh, just had the advantage there. Of course, Bomber did go for a bit of a timing attack in that game. It really paid off nicely for him. It was a perfect, perfect timing um, against what Heart was doing. And... But it only barely succeeded, you know, so I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe Hart has more going for him than we were able to see in game number one. In any case, uh, Bomber going for gas first here and then into the barracks. So he is actually going to be going for a factory build more than likely. We saw the barracks first over here for Hart and then the refinery shortly after. So I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a Reaper out of... Uh, Heart, this is a very, very popular map for Reaper expansion builds in Terran vs. Terran, so that's something that we might expect here. There's this little spot over here at the back of your opponent's base where you can do a double hop up. This, uh, most of the ridge here is actually too tall for Reapers to jump up in one jump, so uh, that's why we have this spot right here so that we can have a little leapfrogging going on. And look at this cross position scout for Hart. He really wants to know specifically if Bomber is cross positions. Um, he's going to get that SCD scout in there right away. And it looks like we actually are... Well, we're not seeing... Not seeing, actually, we're not seeing a uh, tech lab out of Hart after all, so never mind. But he did sneak in here and saw exactly what Bomber was up to and then just got his SCD out of there immediately. Did not want to stick it around because that Marine was about to pop out and shut that SCV down. And oh, ooh, this is interesting. We're gonna see a proxy factory over here near Bomber's base. And that might've been why he was um, scouting cross positions so that he could try and maybe do a double scout and, and discover him as quickly as possible so he could put the factory as close to Bomber's base as he could. And wow, Bomber is immediately gonna be building a starport on the tech level over here. He is gonna go for very quick Banshees this time. What are we gonna see out of Wait a minute, second gas going down for Hart. I have not seen this before. Uh, it looks like he might do proxy banshees, but if he's gonna do proxy banshees, he wanted to might have wanted to go a little bit faster. He might have wanted to get gas earlier so they could really speed up those banshees. Are we gonna, s I don't know what we're gonna see here. This is gonna be really interesting. And there is the command center coming from Bomber. So he's gonna expand off of this banshee build and this might actually hurt him. Even though he's gonna have Banshees out earlier, this is really, really interesting. Uh, wow, okay, wait. What, okay, well, this is also interesting. So the starport's actually going down in Hart's base. So, uh, wow, so he's actually gonna go for siege tanks. So this is, I guess, uh, you know, what some people call the 111 build, perhaps. He might be going for, uh, you know, siege tanks and might just get uh, oh, a Viking coming out now as well. Actually, did he scan? No, he didn't. But now he actually gets in and sees again. The, wow, the SCV getting in there. Only a single Marine for Bomber. I didn't even realize that. Bomber only made that one Marine, and that is it. Uh, and so this SCV able to just kind of waltz right in there and see everything, see the extra barracks as well. So Bomber just going into kind of normal build after this Banshee. But what are we going to see out of Hart here? He's got this proxy factory building tanks. This is really interesting, really, really interesting. This uh, Banshee's gonna come across the map. The Hellion, of course, was trying to poke in there earlier and could not because of this bunker. Uh, but now he's gonna see, okay, he might be expecting it to be a, an expansion build as a result, but this Banshee is gonna actually be able to do some scouting at the same time. And there's already a Viking out. This Banshee is gonna do virtually nothing. The Marines are gonna chase after the Banshee. And that Banshee is not even going to... No, oh, gets one kill. One uh, simul kill, I guess, there, killing a marine as it died, and 
didn't really get much of anything. Of course, he did. You saw he actually moved his Banshee over here. The reason being, he wanted to actually scout if there was an expansion. And here we see the true uh, goal of this build. He's hidden the Siege Tanks. Bomber has no idea that there's going to be Siege Tanks coming as well. Siege Tech is almost completed. And he's going to be going with some of his SCVs as well. We're going to be seeing a very, very similar attack to last game. Bomber, again, going for a risky strategy, going for a command center off of one marine. Is he going to be able to hold this off? He knows something is coming. He's built a bunker. Is he going to be able to get the bunker up in time, though? The siege tanks are in position. They're going to siege up. And the marines are there, too. And the bunker completes, but it's too late. Uh, wow. We already have Hart in position. The bunker's just going to go down very quickly. Bomber forced to retreat up into his main, and we again have a contained situation. We may see Startail Bomber, who showed a dominating performance. Uh, 5-0-ing, all-killing, the first 5-0 all-kill in the team league just the other day might be taken out here by this up-and-coming terror in TSL Hart. The factory is going to go down. Is he going to repair it? The SCV is coming off the line. The Marines are going in there as well. He does get a single tank out, but it is going to die almost immediately to those Marines. This is a horrible position for Bomber. Bomber does have a couple medevacs, but he does not have Stim yet. Stim is about to complete at, uh, I'm not sure where. Oh, down there, the, their barracks down there. Stim completes, so he does have Stim. He may just try and build up enough for one attack. And oh, he's gonna, oh, he doesn't want to get the drops. He was gonna try and go for a drop, try and counterattack basically. But he would have lost those medevacs to the Vikings. Here he goes. He stims in trying to take out some units. He needs to make sure those medevacs are repairing his units the entire time. And look, that's the only way he can do this is, is to use the repairing capability of those medevacs to somehow, um, you know, keep up keep this smaller amount of units killing the units apart. If he can hold this off, he has that extra command center somewhere. Actually, the command center go down. No, the command center was in the corner. But GG coming from Bomber Startail Heart. The up-and-coming Terran player has taken out the longtime GSL competitor and former Code A champion. Heart will be advancing to the next round, and Bomber has been completely eliminated from Code A, and an absolutely shocking result. Wow. Wow, just an amazing, amazing situation here. Did not expect Bomber to go out at all. Of course, uh, Hart, you know, a lot of people are going to criticize him for going for a couple all-in builds, but they were clever builds, and, you know, at the end of the day, Bomber's going home, and Hart is advancing to the next round, and that is really... What is at stake here? Bomber went for some risky builds, and uh, Hart made him pay for them, so uh, you can't blame Hart too much for that. In any case, that was an excellent series, uh, very fun TVT, and we're going to have a really cool Protoss versus Zerg coming up. Squirtle versus Seal is going to be the next matchup. We're going to give uh, our players uh, five or so minutes to get their gear set up before we go into the next match, so I'll talk to you guys again in about five.